Hi guys, this is Tim speaking from Skyrocket, the open strategy channel. So today we're going to go over a very classic risk, risk assessment uh, framework, uh, which is the risk likelihood consequence assessment matrix. Um, it is a matrix that is very pertinent to evaluate a project's feasibility um, by assessing the risks, for instance, um, in the acquisition of a firm in M&A, um, conducting a risk analysis in in a project that you're going to do with uh, key partners. It's really highly recommended to limit the potential negative impacts of pre-identified risks. So a little bit of history before we dive into the template you can see here. Um, the, the risk matrix, uh, according to Garvey and Lasdown, um, was created in the Electronic System Center of the US Air Force. Um, its overall simplicity, as you can see, nothing very complicated, two accesses and boxes to fill in, um, makes it a, a very compact and pertinent approach um, and one of the most popular semi-quantitative risk assessment frameworks in many industries, um, which led to multiple spin-offs and more complex versions. So the gist of this framework is to correctly assess each identified risk Identifying risks could actually be a whole separate exercise we could be talking about on two dimensions. So the first one you can see uh, is on the top, it's severity. So severity of consequences of the risk. So it's the degree to which the occurrence of the risk would negatively impact the project. We have five levels, very low, low, average, high, very high. And then you have probability of occurrence, uh, which is the likelihood of the event actually happening and possibly negative impact um, to various degrees uh, on your project or acquisition, whatever you want to analyze. Same thing here, five levels, almost certain, likely, possible, unlikely, and rare. So when you combine uh, severity and probability, you basically have um, different uh, uh, categories. Uh, so there are five. Um, the first important one are critical uh, risks. So these are risks of generally a very high severity and a higher probability. Then you have the major risks, average kind of severity and probability. Moderate risks, relatively low to average severity and probability. Minor risks, low, very low severity and unlikely probability. And then the rare uh, kind of risks, which generally never happen. Uh, and don't have a very big impact. Um, the key of the the framework that that that's, that you have in front of your eyes here and the template I built is basically enabling you to to highlight the key risks for your project uh, in a simple way. So this is the way it works. Um, so what you do is first list all the risks you can think of, describe them, and then work on the probability and severity for each of them leading to the category. And what you'll do after that is um, see if there's a protective measure against it. Uh, typically insurance, recovery plan, security measures, fallback strategies, etc. for each of these risks. And you go back to this template, you write the names of the risks in the different uh, appropriate boxes and you have something very nice to, to show. Same thing here, but in the list and a key outtake here. So if I give you an example of a SaaS software company I worked for, uh, here, here's one. Um, so different risks are presented here. Typically a very critical risk is an armed conflict, which is very high and the possibility, at least in Europe at the time, was um, was um, was really major. Um, the consequence of the analysis that you can see here is um, the identification of the critical and the major risks and the, the the work on protective measures on these key ones, notably uh, with, a, with a key um, security protocol that was put in place. So this um, method, as usual, comes with its associated methodology, which you can see here uh, in 11 steps. So this really just recapitulates what I just mentioned to, um, to you. And I think you'll find it very useful to conduct this uh, risk assessment on your own project. Like always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me via Okuns. I'd be really happy to help. Good luck and see you soon.